pulsating ectoplasms, creeping, crawling, gushing blood, science run amok, sterile laboratories and evil corporations, drab Canadian location shots. What am I, in the middle of a David Cronenberg movie circa 1978? Well, not quite. If you see the new horror movie Splice, you might think you are, because this movie really resembles a David Cronenberg movie from that era. This one's the work of Vincenzo Natalie. You're not familiar with the name? He did a little cult film called Cube several years ago that people really dug. And he's done some other films between now and Cube. But this is sort of his big break. It's a Warner Brothers release and actually has two uh, fairly big name actors. One's an Academy Award winner, the other one's an Academy Award nominee. It's Adrian Brody, of course, won the Academy Award for The Pianist, and Sarah Polly, who was nominated for Away From Her, a terrific drama from a few years ago. They play scientists who also happen to be lovers, and they're working on this cutting edge DNA experiment where they take two forms of creatures and different different forms of creatures and they put them together kind of like a Frankenstein uh, situation. Hint, hint, her name's Elsa in the movie, get it? Anyway, they put these two creatures together and they see what happens. Of course, there's an evil corporation that steps in and says, this isn't working out. We're going to get rid of this experiment. So what do they do? They go out on their own and they create their own experiment. Only this time, Sarah Polly decides to inject some of her own DNA into it. And what happens? Well, a little mutated young girl uh, is born and she starts to get older and they try to monitor her and she has some very peculiar traits, which I won't tell you all about, but you never know quite what she's going to do. As she gets older, she becomes more human-like Sarah Polly takes a liking to her like she's her mama. This is the perfect Mother's Day movie in a very sick way. Uh, and um, there's a constant fight of, over what should we do with this creation between Brody and Polly. I mean, should they raise it like a kid? Is it a monster? It's got this very odd head. It looks like kind of like a doll. It's got um, a long tail and it sort of hops around like a kangaroo. So it's not your everyday kid. Um, Splice, as I said, like the Cronenberg movies, has lots of blood in it and lots of gore, and that's what people that go to see this movie are going to want. It also has some very interesting intellectual uh, sci-fi ideas. However, it also has lots of cliches, the evil corporation, um, you know, uh, the fighting between the two is never really believable. And I'll tell you, Adrian Brody, even though he won the Academy Award, he was terrific in the Roman Polanski film, not totally convincing as a scientist in this movie to me. But if you like your movies, uh, a little trashy, somewhat thought-provoking, and definitely bloody, Splice might be for you. Uh, if not, if you're not a horror fan, you could pass on it. But if you like Cronenberg, this is the next best thing. Cronenberg's obviously going on to do some other stuff that might be uh, you know a level above this B picture but it's not bad it's not great this is movie earth